Hello all, this is Matt Johnson. I'm going to recite one of my favorite poems and then speak a little bit about why I chose this poem. It's called Paying the Captain by Russell Edson. We get on a boat, never mind if it sinks. We pay the captain by throwing him overboard. And when he gets back on board, we say, Captain, please don't be angry. And he forgives us this time. And so we throw him overboard again, just to be sure we have fully paid the price we have set upon our passage. When he gets back on board, he is not anxious to forgive us, and he would like it much better if we got off his boat. There is nothing left to do but to repay him. and hope that this time it will be enough. And so we throw him overboard again. When he comes back aboard again, we say, Now this must be the last of this. We will pay no more. We want the journey to begin. But it seems there will be no journey, since we have gotten the captain used to a good thing. And so we must spend the rest of our days throwing the captain overboard. Um, I chose this poem for a couple of reasons, um, and not not just because uh, just because I like it, but uh, um, the first reason, but not necessarily the most important reason. But uh, I think it fits well into what we've uh, looked at this semester is that the, uh, the evolution of the, the poem uh, over its lifetime. And uh, this is a prose poem as opposed to a free verse or uh, any of the earlier uh, poetry forms and even some of the more contemporary forms. The prose poem um, the poet writes the poem in prose, so the form is not set. And uh, what really makes this poem a poem is the fact that it relies heavily on figurative language, in this particular case on the metaphor. And the metaphor that... Uh, that Russell Edson uses here um, speaks as well uh, uh, as many of his other poems do to um, what we as humans do, uh, the choices we make, how we live our lives, and what we do to justify the decisions that we often make in our lives. And uh, the metaphor in this particular poem uh, really, really strikes home for me, and that's the uh, the second uh, reason that I chose this. I want to read just a little, um, a little, a little piece. Uh, it's one of my favorite quotes by uh, Dostoevsky, and it's uh, from one of his works called "Notes from the Underground." And the quote is: uh, "Shower upon him every earthly blessing, drown him in a sea of happiness." so that nothing but bubbles of bliss can be seen on the surface. Give him economic prosperity such that he should have nothing else to do but sleep, eat cakes, and busy himself with the continuation of his species. And even then, out of sheer ingratitude, sheer spite, man would play you some nasty trick. He would even risk his cakes and would deliberately desire the most fatal rubbish, the most uneconomical absurdity, simply to introduce into all this positive good sense his fatalistic, fantastic element. And um, this poem and that quote uh, both resonate with me because um, I see the absurdity in uh, some of the decisions I've made and sometimes continue to make in my life. And... Uh, I think Russell Edson really uh, captures the the definition of uh, 
the um, the definition of uh, life in general, and that's uh, uh, tra tragedy is you know uh, tragedy and uh, humor uh, combined as one, and uh, we uh, we often tend to to do that in our lives. I know I do in mine. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Dr. Norwood, thank you. Uh, great semester. And, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get to spend some more time as, uh, as we get through all this nonsense. Take care, everybody.